Hey guys, you notice know something new? I got myself a new wig. I got Henry Margu's Kelly. And this is in the beautiful uh, blonde rooted blend of 26 GR. Now this cap is a petite average cap, which I've never tried before. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. I was a little concerned it might be too small or too tight, and it isn't. I think it's a little narrower, or not narrow, a little shorter maybe back here. But my face is long and narrow. I normally wear an average cap, and I always have a bunch of extra cap back here. I don't have that here. This fits pretty snug to my head. So I'm thinking maybe in Henry Margu, the petite average is my size. I don't know. It's the first one I've had. But this is a beautiful monofilament top wig. So I'm going to read a little bit of the description. And how many colors does it come in? It comes in a lot of colors. Oh, lots. I'm not going to count them, but you know, if you're interested, go online to your favorite wig store and check it out. Check out the different colors. Um, the description is Kelly by Henry Margu is a lovely chin length bob wig uh, <clears throat> made with a monofilament top for a natural appearance and multi directional styling options. Made with ultra thin webbings, weftings. <laughs> I can read for lightweight comfort. Cap size is petite average. So it's monofilament, it's straight, it's synthetic hair. It is not heat friendly, so don't put heat to it um, unless you wanna melt it. Why you would wanna do that, I don't know. But um, it retails for $300 and as always, Check online for coupon codes, see who's having a sale. If there's a company that you like to work with, sign up for their emails, and when they're having a sale, then you can get a discount on it. So, okay. I, where did I put my comb? I was looking for my rat tail. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Okay, well, anyway, we'll use this one. one of my cutting combs. I am a retired hairstylist, if you're new to my channel, just so you know. But this is the mono top, the part that I can get. And this wants to do its own thing right now, but I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can uh, get it to do more of what you want. But there is the beautiful part. You can part it here, anywhere through the mono top. Look at how nice that is. All of the Henry Margu wigs that I have are very comfortable. Have the most comfortable cap, I think, of any of the wigs that I own. I've had Raquel Welsh, Noriko, Renee of Paris, Paula Young, but Henry Margu really is a top of the line wig company in my opinion. The hair density is very natural. It feels very natural, it looks natural. It moves like hair. It isn't stiff, it isn't heavy. Um, and I really like it. Now, you guys know, if you've watched me for any length of time, my wig reviews, you know I do a left part, left side part. And so if the hairs aren't going the direction that you want them to, just get out a spray bottle of water. And the more you wear it, where you want it parted, the better it will stay. It just takes a little bit of time. This is fresh out of the box. I just got it. And see, see how that works? You can also use a wig spray or a spray that's alcohol free because alcohol can dry the fibers out and you don't want to do that prematurely. But you can style with water or get a wig hairspray to help keep it in the style that you want to. So I am going to spin around here and show you all sides. And as a retired hairstylist, I appreciate the cut and the blending down here at the nape. It is just beautiful. Whoever cuts their wigs does a fantastic job. They know what they're doing. Sorry that my bench is all creaky. Hang on. <laughs> Technical problems, you guys. So that 
that is the spin around of this gorgeous wig. And you guys know I'm a tucker. If you've watched my videos, I like to tuck and I know a lot of people don't like that. But that's how I like to wear mine. And here are the bangs for the fringe if you're in the UK. And they purposely leave them longer because everybody's face shape is different. So somebody may have a really high forehead and will need the extra length. So you can either, look at how natural that is. That looks like human hair coming out of the head, the way it's so wispy on the ends. So you can trim them yourself if you know what you're doing. I wouldn't recommend it if you have never done it before. I do have a video from a long time ago on how I trim my the bangs on my wigs. Or if you can find a hairstylist who is um, has experience cutting wigs, talk to somebody. Don't just go in and have them cut it without talking to them and finding out what they're history and experiences, because this is an investment piece. But as I've said in previous videos, I had clients who came in every four to six weeks and dropped at least $150 for color highlights cut, at least $150 once a month or once every six weeks. This is gonna last you longer than that, especially if you take good care of it. So, and it's quite shiny and that will dull down. There, all shiny unless you have the heat friendly fibers because they coat them. But this is, it just looks like hair. Looks like real natural hair. I'm constantly amazed at Henry Margu's wigs. Okay, I'm gonna show you. My iPad's doing its own thing over there. Oh, losing that, that's okay. I only have that on when I wear my wigs. I don't normally wear a wig cap or a wig grip, but I didn't want my hair here to interfere with showing you what the wig looked like because it sticks out a little bit. But this here is a monofilament top that you get. That's hand tied, beautiful. So any area in here that where you part it, it's gonna look like your scalp. And then it has the silicone I think it's silicone, you know, I'm, I guess I'm not sure, but it feels like silicone. The band here for your forehead, and you can actually put tape here, wig tape, if you don't have any hair and you want some security. I sew clips into mine. Now this one, I'm only gonna be able to sew clips in on the sides and at the back because there's no way I'm sewing anything into this beautiful piece. And that just makes them more secure for me. And with my other one, the Ella, I didn't modify it by cutting the straps out and doing anything. I just sewed some clips in just to make it more secure. But look at that, you guys. It is so beautiful and it feels so natural. So I think $300 for this wig is definitely a reasonable price. And I'm not sure why, you know, several months ago, why all of a sudden there was a huge, you know, like a doubling in price of wigs. So maybe that's coming from the manufacturers. I don't know. But anyway, I think I covered everything. Did I show you the box? Here's the box. And this is the beautiful Kelly wig from Henry Margu and 26GR. And they have, um, if you're interested in Henry Margu wigs, they have Instagram and they have Facebook pages. So check them out. You can see people, you know, wearing the different styles and the different colors on those pages. So I will link those below. So be sure to check them out if you're interested in any of the Henry Margu wigs. They definitely are, in my opinion, one of the highest quality wigs that I've ever owned. So... Okay, guys, leave your questions and comments below, and I'll just see you next time. Oh, yeah, and the glasses. See? See, I can wear this. That's my hair right there, but it blends right in. But I didn't want that to um, confuse anyone. So, okay, see you next time, guys. Love you. Bye.